Hey guys, Amy here. Thanks for clicking on part two of my series about becoming a spin instructor. If you have been here before, welcome back to my channel. But if you are new, so nice to meet you. My name is Amy and I'm a fashion model. I've recently become spin instructor and I love talking about modeling, beauty, and fitness. So a few days ago, I asked you guys on Instagram to shoot me some questions about what it was like either training to be a spin instructor or actually being a spin instructor. And I got some really, really cool questions from you guys. So last week's video was all about me answering the questions that were mostly about the audition process and how the training was like. But in today's video, it is gonna be mostly about what it's like actually teaching a class, what it's like actually being a spin instructor. As usual, before we get started, please give this video a like subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post new videos. Okay, more questions. Let's get started. Are you a full-time slash part-time instructor? I'm a part-time instructor because after all, my main job is still modeling. Please just do a vlog on your day as an instructor. You know, that's a great idea. I will do that and take you through my entire process of building my class and let you guys know. Stay tuned. What are the challenges of being a spin instructor? For me, the biggest challenge is building my playlist because I think being a perfectionist is really getting in the way of me doing things quickly when it comes to presenting a class because I want to make sure that the people who come for my class are getting the best experience that they can possibly get. I want to make sure that my playlist flows in a way that I think is best for the writers. I want to make sure the choreography is interesting. I want to make sure the sprints are hard enough but also not too hard. So it just takes me a while to plan my playlist, but I'm still new, so I'm really hoping that I get a lot faster. When you're tired or feeling low, how do you maintain high energy when teaching? Another question, how do you hide the class up on days you feel bad? Those are two excellent questions. So on days when I feel not so good, honestly, by the time I open the doors for the riders to come in and start setting up their bikes, I kind of forget everything else that's happening because I really need to focus on right then and there. I guess this one part of modeling where you have to kind of put your own emotions on the back burner in order to get a job done, that has really helped me with doing my absolute best for every single class because, you know, 45 minutes, dedicate that time to yourself, focus on writing, I focus on my writers, I focus on, you know, teaching them the best way that I can. I forget about the crappy things that has happened. And afterwards, I end up feeling so much better because all the energy in the room has just lifted up my spirits. Do you need to practice what you say to your class? <laughs> You know, I used to in training, I did. Now, after teaching a couple classes, it is so much easier. I am not like that at all anymore. <laughs> now, I don't have to pre-plan everything that I say in class. Of course, I need to know like what kind of movements I wanna do, but in terms of like the motivational part, I just kind of see how it goes, see what comes out, see what feels right at the time. Is it just about being hot? No, it is not just about being hot. <laughs> That is hilarious. There is so much more that goes on when it comes to planning a class, when it comes to teaching. So many things that I had never really considered before I actually started training. Go ahead and take any hot person on the street, put a mic on them, put them on a bike and have them conduct an entire class for 45 minutes while riding, doing the lights, doing the microphone, performing on the bike. It is so much harder than it seems. I don't know, maybe instructors just look hot because we do a really good job. Okay, good day. Good day to you. How to catch up to the super fast cadence in spin classes. The first thing you need to do before you get that double time is you need to find the beat of that song. A good way to think about it is if you're in a club, what parts would you like bop your head to or jump up and down to? Those are typically the beats of the song. Practice while seated in the bike and catching that beat on that double time before standing up and doing it with your butt off the saddle and you'll be fine. How do you prepare for your session? Do you practice for the flow of the workout? I don't have a bike at home, so I can't really practice for the flow of the workout and it is a huge waste of time and you don't really have the time to practice every single thing for every single class before the actual class. That's why training is so important. So through training, we've kind of learned how to build a class in terms of the pace, in terms of the difficulty, and that really helps to envision how the class is gonna go. So no, I don't have to practice for the flow of the workout as long as I can see how fast the song is and I can kind of practice the moves without the bike, then it's all good. 
So some people ask me if I get nervous when I teach a class. Maybe like as I'm making my way to the studio and I'm kind of running through my moves and my cues in my head, I might feel a little bit nervous, but as soon as the doors open and as soon as people start coming in and setting up their bikes, I completely forget all of that and I end up having so much fun on that podium and I don't feel nervous at all, which is great. My favorite playlist. Oh man, this is hard. I would say my Blackpink playlist was probably one of my favorites. And most recently, right before we went into phase two, I did this one class which had a lot of bad bitch energy. You know, we did the classics like Hollaback Girl and a bunch of Britney Spears and Rihanna songs. And that one was so fun. The energy from the music really like gave me oh, energy. <laughs> Okay, last question. What's your favorite moment during spin class? That is a great last question. I would say my favorite moment during spin class would have to be the build up to the drop in the very, very last song. I love using that moment when the music is building up to the drop to really say what I need to say to get everyone in the room to really rise up to the challenge because this is, you know, this is the last push. This is the last time we're gonna be sprinting. After that, we're done. So everything else you have in your tank, just empty it, give me everything that you've got. I love that part because I really feel the energy from the music. I can see everyone in class, just, you know, the determination in their faces. Everyone is going to be riding together. Everyone's going to be finishing the class all together. We had already done 40 minutes of a crazy workout. This is the last little push. I love that part. It is the most, most exciting. The energy in the room is absolutely amazing and I love, love, love that feeling. In my classes, I also like to incorporate a ride song, which you basically just ride to it. I like to use that moment in the class for everyone to stop for a second and just slow down for a little bit, you know? And I like using that time to kind of slide in some stuff about mental health and taking care of yourself and rising above whatever challenges that you're facing. And I think for me, it really adds another dimension to the experience. It's hard for me to say what I actually talk about because it's different every single class. It depends on how I feel. So if you want to know what I talk about, please come to my class and join in. <sighs> All right, I feel like I've been talking forever. Thank you guys so much for submitting your questions. It has been so much fun answering them. I hope whether or not you are looking to be an instructor, or if you're just curious about the process, I hope you found this video interesting and that you learned a little something. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and if you have any other questions I didn't answer then go ahead and comment that down below as well and I'll get back to you. Once again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know what kind of content you guys actually enjoy watching. Also subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post any new videos. I promise it won't be another year before a new video comes out. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, that's all from me. Bye!